Hey Collective. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, let's do some tarot for you all. Um, see what the tarot has to say, see what spirit wants you to know at this time. Um, thank you all so much for all the likes, comments, share, subscribes, all the support that you give me. I mean it, I'm like, I mean it, like I really mean it, but like, <laughs> I don't know why I mean it came up, but like, I, it means the world to me is what I meant to say. Um, it truly does, and I love each and every one of you back to the moon and back. I love each and every one of you to the moon and back tenfold. Jesus, I'm getting my words pissed up. Um, I feel like someone in your energy may be trying to find out what they want to say to you or how they're going to come across saying something to you. But regardless, um, um, yeah, I'm just overwhelmed with like love at this moment. I do. I appreciate everything you all do. Your energetic donations, your actual donations, whatever, however you support this channel. It means the world to me tenfold. Just know that from the bottom of my heart. Um, always. But let's jump in. We're jumping into the Panther real quick. See what's in here. They'll let us know if anything is popping up. Someone's ready. Oh, well, someone's arranging some sort of... What? Hold on. What the fuck's going on with this, spirit? Someone's arranging to do some sort of like control magic. I huge air quotations because like someone's yeah, oh because they hurt. Okay, so someone's being a little bitch. A third party enemy who's alone, who's lonely, depressed, who's disappoint, disappointed. Not a disappointment, probably both, but they're isolated. And there's proof of this person being isolated and being a third world enemy. But they're ready to. Uh, play Pinocchio like I'm a real I'm a real boy now like I'm a real earth angel I'm a real divine feminine no you're not you're fake you're faker than anything in this world is it like I'm literally making direct eye contact with my Anubis urn right now we're just looking at each other like really we're like really like this is like Someone's ready to be fake. Someone's ready to be fake to try and sw um, swing something in their pos in their favor. Wow. Oh goodness. Yeah. Yeah. They. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. They're ready to do that because they're unwilling to invest in an actual relationship or invest in a sweetheart. They just want to come to some sort of like agreement so they can get some of your blessings. Okay, well that's funny. So, someone's gonna come towards you. Someone might come towards you. Someone's thinking about it. Out of their ego, because they're mad. Oh, they had an accident? Someone could have gotten an accident today and now they're pissed off and wanted to do something to you because they think it's your fault that they got an accident. But in actuality, it's their fault for over being overindulgent in this initiation. So someone's trying to get initiated into like some sort of cult or government or like initiated in their own mind to get like in a better position in life they feel like if you are destroyed they're gonna have a better position in life that's not the case at all this person's just it was divinely orchestrated for this person to lose everything it doesn't matter about you or not um you were a catalyst you were to show this person that um their life was gonna go to shit if they chose wrong or if they did something that was in alignment so now they're like pissed off at you and they want to blame you for everything when it's really their fault. Just the same weird like nana nana boo boo energy. Dude, I don't know if y'all fucking, this is coming in my head again. Someone think it'd be Jackson or have the initials J or K in their name. <laughs> but this really old computer game that I used to play when I was a child, it was called uh, Boom Chicka Boom Boom. And it had like this alphabet song, and it would like go through all that. It, I forgot the whole thing, but the part that keeps playing in my head is J and K are about to cry. So there's two people that's just about to cry, like they're they're just they're 
over it. Like, there are, and the friends is on the bottom too. So these could be two friends. This could be two people who are just networking together. But they're like, they're about, they're on their verge of tears because they know that there's no coming, like, someone's like, it's fucked up. There's no coming back. Someone can't do anything. Someone's fake. They know that they're, they know that whoever they're with is fake. They know that. They know they they want to seem like they know everything, but they only know a small bit. All they know is that they're trapped, and someone needs to be responsible and give a confession. Someone wants you to forgive them. They feel very guilty, but they're being assured that they can't trick you. So they're just not doing anything, which is justice. Instead of, you know, being the big strong man or the big strong woman uh, that they claim to be, uh, they continue being a little bitch and crying about things. And they believe they're in some sort of illusion that they won. That's crazy. Someone's in an illusion that they won. What did you win? Did you win your diaper back or something, bro, sis? Because that, that's the only thing I'm seeing, right? Is you won a failure. You won to lose. Yeah. Good news, sweetheart. This is a faded event, and luck is on your side. We love that. Pride, yeah. Someone's doing this out of pride. Someone's just fucking weird. Yeah, it was it was all in someone's imaginations that they could like steal your gifts or do something. So here's the thing: um, this person's in a nightmare, suffer, suffering. They could be under some sort of persecution as well. But um, if anyone comes to you and says, "Oh, I can destiny swap with this person," or "Oh, I can steal their spiritual gifts or inheritance," no, you can't. It doesn't matter what you do; you cannot. That's like that. You can't do that. No, you can't. I hate to break it to you, you can't. You cannot. I hate to be the first person to tell you, but no. Um, but what can happen is someone can forfeit their will, which would allow that to happen, but you cannot come to someone who is in control of their life and do something like that. Um... I don't know. People are fucking so stupid. Who are you? Why do you keep sticking out? Yeah, these people don't care about themselves. They don't love themselves. These people might have had like no parental support growing up as well, which is why they're outlashing on you. Which doesn't make much sense. Um, but, you know, that's how they wish to take out their trauma and years of abuse on a sweetheart. Because it's like, oh, if you love yourself and you take care of yourself, that means you have to have good parents too. And no. You might have been, I might be channeling someone that was been abused by their parents heavily, but they just learned how to love themselves. And these people are, these friends are pissed off because someone's going to jail and that's fated to happen. And it's fated. So if someone's going to jail, someone's going to go homeless. That's fated to happen. There's nothing people can do to stop this. Um, because it's like, oh, I know if we, if we do this to collective, they'll act out crazy. No, that's a demon. That's a demon that you're listening to. Take it from an exorcist. Hi, I'm an exorcist. <laughs> um, take it from an exorcist. Um, a demon does not know any truths. A demon cannot tell of what to come. A demon is only emotionally intelligent, in this, and not like emotionally smart. But they can, but they can guesstimate. How someone was going to react because they themselves are the entity that would be spawned if their hypothesis was like, oh, we can we can slam doors, we will slam every door in this house, and then collective will come out of the house and scream at us for slamming these doors, and then you know after they scream at us, we can act like nothing happened, and that will make them even more mad because they'll know that we know. That's what a demon would say, because a demon knows that they would piss them off, the, their vessel, it would piss their vessel off if they were to do something like that. It would make them upset, and then they would act a fool, because they don't have that, that temper regimen that Collective has. So they go on, and they do that weird thing, and instead of you acting all weird and crazy, you just don't care. You might even laugh about it, because you're like, what the fuck is going on? This demon 
gets embarrassed, which then makes this demon, like, act out rashly. They begin sticking their ass out, um, because that's all they can do. Um, so instead of, you know, they'll be like, oh, well, you know, if they don't, we'll just play like something else is happening. Who cares? Like, if they didn't come out, that means they didn't notice it. It's how they play. Despite you, like, it's a whole thing. These demons fucking play with these people's minds all day long. Yeah. These people... Okay. So someone also is like... They promised... They promised a very bountiful, lovely, beautiful, abundant life. Um, but they needed your energy. These people can't manifest off their own energy. They need to suck other people's energy. And the people that they're with or around have karma that needs to be paid. So the only thing they're sucking is more karma. They're overloaded and things are ending in their life because of this idea. Because you have the gift. You were the source they needed to manifest from. These people can't can't manifest shit. They need a good person to do so. Um and it's like, oh, we don't need collective because I'm the real earth angel because I the collective's the demon, you know, that whole charade. It turns out what which you've been manifesting off of this person who has financial karma that they need to suffer from, um, is just death, debt, uh and arrogance but it's yeah this this is no accident someone may be in danger but that's just fair that's justice for being mentally disturbed someone's in danger for listening to this mentally disturbed individual and they know it which is why they can't come to you someone might have even tried to be like hey what if we what if we lie about collective in court and then we we get to rob them that way when they're in court we can steal from them well collective would have to do something to become a victim of that court case um, instead of you just lying about someone. You see what I mean? Like, these people don't understand the truth of the matter. They are all just lying to each other and hoping something works. In reality, nothing's going to work. There's a lot of conflict going on between these people because they don't, they're living and learning, but they're how stubborn they are. They need to stop, but they're stubborn. But they're not, and that's perfectly fine. Spirit says it's fine. Let them ruin their life. Um, you have in, you have immortality. It's collective. These people are bound to these bribes that they took. Your family bribed these people, and they're stuck to it. Or these are people that even bribed your family, take it as resonance. But this bribe has made them all one big karmic family because they're all tied by that one strain. And that's perfectly fine. Everyone that, you know, did something to you in an ill manner... Uh, and talked about it and was giddy about it. They're all conjoined to with the same karma. And, you know, they want to circle jerk about how they can ruin your life. Now they can circle jerk with their lives being ruined. Um, but that's, again, this is how karma works. Um, these people are not smart. They lackluster, no actual energy for themselves. They could never do anything um, worth anyone's time. I hate to break it, but, you know, we're just honest on this channel. You know how we is over here. Um, so let's see here. Someone may be also trying to, oh. Someone may be finding other people who are, like, sweethearts like you. But God is preventing them from finding another earth angel. So they're only finding, like, people who are nice. Um, but they don't have the same energy as you. So their manifestations don't work off these other people. And they're just ruining their lives. Because now they're just attacking people for no reason. Um, well, I mean, they were in the first place, and I think they have been for a while, but now they're going out while also being under spiritual surveillance, going out to other people and trying to do the same thing to them, and it's not working. I feel like that's why there's been a bunch of orgies and sex parties going on, too, is these people are trying to, like, energy harvest off of random people to see if they can get anything, and it's like they're not getting anything at all from it. Um, 
So if you've been hearing readings about, yeah, Ace of Cups reverse popping out, I'm taking that as confirmation, thank you, Spirit. But if you've been getting or hearing readings about people having like sex parties and orgies and whatever, it's the energy harvest. Um, so they can try and manifest something um, that of equivalence to your energy, but nothing equates to your energy because it's the energy of God, it's the energy of the divine. Yeah. So you're not conflicted. You don't care about these people's uh, bad contracts. These people are losing a lot for their bad contracts. The conflict's going on them. It's a very mental, internal conflict. Um, there's a you're going through a rebirth, and these people thought it, there's also like an ending happening of these people trying to stop some sort of two of cups coming towards you. Um, they can continue saying what they want about you, but like your actions and the way you, you live is different from how these people talk about you and if, if anyone wishes to believe these lies about you they weren't supposed to be with you anyway uh leave it at that with the four of cups upright luxury you do deserve luxury you have a luxurious life coming up someone is taking you need time to meditate someone really is looking back in the past and realizing yeah that they fucked up someone's in isolation heavily with the ten of cups reverse as well and the knight of swords these people are just moving very fucking quickly towards despair and desolation with the four of wands reverse and the seven of swords reverse yeah everything like it's unstable a lot of just treachery behavior seven of cups upright for you with the five of swords reverse yeah you you get your wish fulfillment you don't regret a single thing that happened these people lost they're stuck in the past because you're not heartbroken um, there's no emotional tie to you and these people anymore. So the only thing that they're doing is like acting and they want you to play a certain role in their film so they can seem how they want to seem with the princess of wands and princess of disc reverse with the four of discs as well. Yeah, this is just like a power trip thing with the two of swords. You're heavily protected. You're almost blind to this with the seven of wands. You're almost blind to like these people because they're fighting amongst each other with the five of cups and they're in huge, they're in deep regret. They don't know what the fuck to do. And they're in, they're in fear as well. Someone's scared that you know what's going on in their life and you don't have to stalk them that scares them because they have to do so much to know about everyone else um they would never ever know how it feels to be loved by god um not being mean uh, they just wouldn't because they don't accept god um so they wouldn't understand god's love um and the actual true protection that you get with god uh with the magician and the ace of wands reverse these people have been manifesting a bunch of like downfalls and like oh quit doing your life path quit doing this quit doing that and it's only been affecting them yeah the effort is there's no effort there's no work going towards you at all like i don't know what they're doing and that's the thing it doesn't matter don't don't pay attention don't ask why are they doing this who cares why they're doing it they're doing it because their ego said so and they're an ego slave um so who gives a fuck um uh, with this sun popping up, that's the truth. The sun, the Hierophant upright, the Chariot reverse, and the Queen of Wands, yeah. They know it's God stopping them, and they know that you're the Queen of Wands. They know that you're very vibrant. You can manifest whatever you want. They know that God's giving you that power, and they know that God's preventing them from touching you as well. With the Queen of Disc reverse, this is someone that's just really greedy, wants to have everything. They want to have your fortune. They can't have it, though. That's their fault. With the Universe reverse and Judgment reverse, they, no, no. They had the wrong judgment of you in the first place. They had ill intents with you, which is why they were never to, able to move on forward with their plans. They might have felt like they were having some sort of success, but it, there was no success on their part. It was only to grow you and make you feel a certain, and make you grow as an individual. All all they might have done is made you feel a certain way about them, uh, which is not the way they wanted it to come off. Queen of Cups reverse did not get any success. Things are being made balance because you're not burdened anymore. You're not stuck in like you healed. There's no inevitable end for you. You keep moving on. You're you're you have immortality. Give me a second. Okay, I had to get my I had to get another deck because I felt called. There's the sun on the bottom of this deck too. So huge confirmations. The Six of Cups reverse. These people, again, did not have anything 
they had really bad plans for you. The Six of Cups reverse, the Prince of Swords reverse. They had ill intents for me from the get-go, which is why Empress, you get to move forward brightfully, and that's why your ships are coming in, because you didn't have any ill intent from anyone. These people came at you with like a shitty, weird, fake offer to give you like some sort of hope so they could leave you out um, and ruin you. So what happens to them? God leaves them out and God ruins them. Um, that's just how the divine, that's just how it is in the courts. Like, do unto others what you don't want done unto you. If you don't want to suffer from all this, then why'd you do it? Obviously, there's a part of you that wanted it to happen. So, you're getting what you deserve. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, they know that they got the Ten of Pentacles reverse. The sun has been revealed, the truth is out. The reality of the situation is here. They got the Ten of Pentacles reverse. They don't have anything going for them. No prosperity, no wealth, no alignments, nothing. The Ten of Pentacles comes up right for you, though. That's period. We love that. Yeah, Five of Pentacles reverse. You're coming in out of the cold to a Ten of Pentacles. And that wasn't part of the plan with the Star reverse. They did not want that to happen. They feel like it's not fair that it happens. They feel like it's blasphemous that it happened mm, who cares the full reverse yeah they took a wrong leap yeah that's the truth they took a wrong leap and they kept running with it because they really thought that they were smart so this is again like someone thought that okay uh, i'm not trying to be mean but it's like i this is just like an example i'm not trying to be mean but it's like someone from, I don't even want to say it because that is really mean, actually. Is there a better way I can say this, Spirit? Okay, it's like a one-armed man wants to play uh, two-hand football. Like, where you have to, like, put both your hands on the back of someone to tag them. It's like someone with one hand not even like a prosthetic and just one hand wanted to play that game and they were not allowed to so instead of like accepting that they weren't allowed to play they did anyway and they weren't being counted in because it's like well you had it's two hand touch like i'm sorry like you yeah, like it's not even like it's just the rules and regulations like there was a hard boundary set and this person wants to fall back like oh it's not fair that i'm not healed to say like there's it's really hard to say i don't know why that example had to come out like that but in some way it says it's not fair that they're not healed and why they can't move on while being unhealed well because times have changed evolution is part of the human life and if you can't stick up with the times you get left behind um this person might be a very big fan of darwinism as well this person might like you know like you know it's darwinism if you're not up the game then i guess you just die well Funnily enough, the fucking person, uh, you know, the one that invented Darwinism died because of a fucking cold, a flu or something. Like, a, it was like some sort of, like, respiratory infection, I believe, or something. So they wasn't even strong enough. Only the strong will survive, right? Looks like you're weak because you're not surviving. That's, like, this person, like, everything they believe in is true. And, you know, they didn't think it was going to be them on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, they they lose. They, they're they weak. They're the pathetic, gullible ones. It's the tables have always been on them, but now the projection's truly being seen, and they don't like it. They don't... They don't like to feel or think. They'll shut off their brain, they'll shut off their hearts, because it's like, oh, I don't want to think or feel, which is really fucking weird. Um, you're scared of being here, but you chose to be here. That's kind of, like, get, get it together. Okay. The Ace, of, the Ace of Cups reverse and the Wheel of Fortune reverse, yeah. No love, no fortune. No love, no luck. Give it a rest. Someone might be actually getting like a, a rest, like, down in the dirt. I don't know why I'm picking that up from the Four of Swords in this one, but someone might actually be like contemplating that Seven of Cups with the Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah, and you move on fully. Like, you've, you've done the healing work.
this person's incredibly burdened. They don't think it's fair. They really don't think it's fair. With the eight of fucking wands up right in the world reverse, yeah, someone is stuck. Like, like Vlad the Impaler, the bamboo shoot is already inside the rectum. You cannot move. You are stuck there. That's the judgment call. You're stuck. Um. You're not. Don't help these people. Yeah, no. The King of Pentacles reversed the Devil in the Tower. Yeah, there is a painful, big tower coming. Very like destructive tower. Like this is hor. The Devil to the Tower is painfully destructive. You're stuck in it too with the eight. Like you cannot move. These people are in really big regret because you know the truth, Queen of Swords. Because you cut through as fuck, Mama. Um, when you say no, it's a no. When you say you don't want someone back in your energy, you're back. When you said you were good, being single, sexy, and successful, you meant it. Um, and these people didn't think you did. And now they have to suffer the consequence of, oh, you actually are better without me. Yes, um, you do hold people back. You are the issue. You need to heal. Uh, collective is fine. And someone may feel like you think that you're bigger and better because you're healed. No, we're just healed. There's a difference. You're unhealed, and that's the part of the reason why you're unhealed is because you think like that. So switch up your mentality a bit, drama queen, and maybe people will start coming around you a little bit more. The hangman, they're probably not. The three of cups, yeah. Someone's been told so many times that what they need to sacrifice, and they're not taking advice. So it's just like, I guess you really don't want to fix it. And they're like, not really. I just want to have a collective back, and I don't care how I get them. Well, you're not going to get them. Not even in your dreams. Four of Cups reversed. They're just a memory uh, in your head. The collective doesn't care. Uh, and I, we know that you don't either, so. Should give up the act. Give up the act. With the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. I don't know why I read the Eight of Wands as the Eight of Swords. But they are stuck in this in this combat. Someone did get a message though. Where'd the Eight of Wands come up? Because I'm sorry, because I read that wrong for y'all. Oh, that tower is coming in quickly. Okay. It's a very quick, it's sudden devil tower hovering for them. Okay. It's like, it's like, they realize it, right? They realize it. It's like, boom. Oh, shit, I'm in a tower. And then the tower, boom, builds up. And it's like, oh, I'm in the tower. Yeah. They don't have the strength to move forward. Um, but you do, mama. You walked away, and you're, you walked away with faith. You had faith. You had hope. You, I just heard shine bright like a diamond. Why am I hearing Bruno, Nar Bruno Mars' grenade? Why am I hearing that song? Oh, because the Knight of Cups is there. <gasps> what the? F oh my god, that's why it's coming up. Okay, the Knight, of Wand the Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands. Whoever's coming in for you, like Bruno Mars' grenade. If you haven't heard that song, listen to it. Someone would fight for you, actually. Yeah. And this person's scared for what they planned, but they're trying to hide something that they're planning. I'm hearing burning evidence. Someone might be trying to burn evidence. Someone might just be trying to delete messages, uh, act like everything in their life is perfectly fine, but it's not. The typical narcissist behavior. Oh, it's a Queen of Pentacles reverse, yeah. A greedy little bitch. Copycat energy. With the Eight of Pentacles reverse too, damn. Really? Okay. Damn. Misery likes company, but you're not company for it. All right. Um. Let me hit up the kipper ish. What's going on in the kipper?
main female is in despair because a mature woman's going to pass away. This could be someone's mother who's going to end up dying because of a bad ma black magic backfire. Or this main female could be this mature woman that's in despair because something is ending. There is a big change happening. Um, you're the one that kept saying over my dead body, mama. I don't wouldn't. I don't care. I don't want to hear it. I ain't smiling to be mean either. I'm just smiling because you asked for it, honey. Adjudication family room. Yeah. <laughs> Jude, yeah, this whole family's being judged. You know, you you said over my dead body with courthouse on the bottom as well. What's on top? Distant horizons. Yeah. You said over your dead body, right? Well, we'll bring it to you and see how you like it then. And if you don't like it, sucks to be you because you kept asking for it. Be careful what you wish for. Monkey's paw. It'll catch you. Off guard. House, yeah. Community, house, concern. A whole community is concerned about you getting some sort of house for your occupation journey. You may be moving, traveling a lot with your job, with some sort of occupation that you have. Yeah, toil and labor. Bad health, wealthy man, concern. Someone's in bad health because of all the stuff they did. Journey. Someone might have traveled somewhere to get something done and the backfire hit their family member. Yeah. Journey, despair, cop, and someone thief. This, oh, wow. This thief could have went on a journey to do some sort of death magic, or a thief is going to go on some sort of journey and, like, get killed? Okay. Jesus Christ. Gift, bad health, and courthouse. Yeah. This thief might... Oh, this thief might bite the cyanide pill in the courthouse. False person, because they don't want to be seen. As, they don't want their to be seen as a false person. They'd rather die um, and have everyone know the truth than have the truth be out and then live. Um, I am picking up on cyanide pills. I don't know why. Someone might also like you know, off themselves and then make write a note and say that you were directly involved with it or something. I, I don't know. People are fucking weird out here, mama. Let's see, what's going on with the tea? What's going on with the vibe, I mean? Yeah, this two-faced backstabbing weirdo is shattered. They're living in a nightmare. They're going through a lot of failures right now, and they're very petty and angry at you. They're salty as fuck. You can laugh at this person. Laugh at them. They ain't got nothing. You're healing. Um, just laugh. Who cares? Um, yeah, laugh. Laugh and you're healing. I said that. You're healing. You're good. Yeah, keep your wishes up. Someone's been spreading some sort of rumors that you're going to give them a second chance. Yeah, you can laugh about that. What the fuck? You ain't giving... Yeah, click... You know, I know how to get collective back on my side. No, you don't. Nigga, shut up. <laughs> With the soulmate mask, yeah. The soulmate was wearing a mask, and they're like, Oh, I know how to get them back. We're soulmates. Not anymore, we not. The fuck? Bitch, we got a contract in the ethers that's been cut off. Baby, you gotta get your head in the game, child. Don't even. Narcissist. Baby, let me tell you. If it ain't one of them, it's two of them, right? You've set boundaries between this narcissist to get some harmony back, which is the right thing to do. This person's drowning in their emotions, and they're confused why you're not stagnant, because I thought we were supposed to be cellmates. Well, baby, the contracts change in the ethers. They don't stay the same, especially if you don't want the contract. Mom, like, the fuck? Some contracts are made for our betterment and for our growth, but most contracts we need to be aware of so we can break. This soulmate is fucking confused. Get out of here. Why are you confused? They're confused why you're slowing, why you've like... They're confused why you're taking time to yourself. They don't... Maybe you took time to yourself. You literally started just working on yourself and they didn't like that. This person is lustful for me from a distance. They're... Yeah. You ghosted this person because all they did is lust for you. And now they're, yeah. Their emotions are getting them in an arguments. You two are incompatible, obviously. 
this person was hopeful that something they did in Vegas would help them or some sort of like tease. What's happening today? What's a today card? <sighs> Living in the moment. Someone made a bad choice and they are hopeful that they can be intimate with you. Uh, but they're salty because some sort of legal issues have been established today and they don't like that they have legal issues now. This is a karmic getting their fucking lessons. They made too many bad decisions. They're continuing a cycle that they wanted to stay on. Something they did it's something that they did on vacation. Something something that they did on vacation has come up to them in a legal issue uh, in a legal cycle. And even here with the fucking luggage here, someone definitely did something on a vacation that was illegal. Um, and it's come up and this person's like, Hey, you didn't, didn't you do this? And don't you have to pay this and that? And didn't you steal this? And didn't you, we have you on camera doing this, this, and that. And they don't like that. Um, they're being forced to, uh, deal with that. Yeah. While you're recharging, this person's going through chaos, which is completely fine. You set pat psychopath boundaries. You set boundaries between the psychopath and Archangel Michael is giving you a glow up. I'm getting tongue tied. We love it though. We love it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Someone has. Someone's getting an epiphany that you're very wise. Um. That you are very smart and that you rejected them because of bad. Of you like they know why you rejected them. They're not surprised why. They know that they're not a good person. Um. So why don't they work on themselves? I don't know. You tell me. This person's clingy and suffering in silence. I'm gonna shuffle three more times, spirit. Feminine energy reverse. Oh no, someone's mother. Oh, someone's running away from their feminine energy, from their emotions. That sucks. Yeah, but you gotta glow up from, and these toxic people don't like that. Wah. Wah, 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 wah. Man, 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 man. Who cares? But yeah, I think that's the reading. I feel like that's the the reading. Um, we're gonna get you the tea cards, the animal cards, and the angel cards. You all know how we do. Well, your ex wanted to pop out. Your ex could be a Virgo that's trying to stalk you because they can't release you. Oh no. Okay. Archangel Raphael is here to heal you though. So thank you Raphael for being here. therapy listen to music if you need to to relax and help yourself don't be like these weirdos and like keep it bottled up or someone might be trying to use music to contact you be careful with that um, i'm going to shuffle three more times with this one because it's a pretty small deck okay cool so things are happening in divine timing divine timing's on your side don't worry I just heard this was a test that they failed miserably. Miser I can't even say that word. So we have JX. Jax could be someone's name. Jackson with the N is here as well. You're about to go on vacation though, don't worry. Virgo. Music therapy reverse. Someone's trying to get to you, get your attention by using music in a negative way. Subliminal messages, things of that nature. Who gives a fuck? If you can't talk to someone face to face, they then. 666 you have the nurturing and support of the universe on your side this person has lost their ancestors 
This is a man-child or a man-woman. 333, you're a master, ascended teacher, ascended master. I mean, these people are just toxic. You, yeah, they're toxic because you, and they want to know why you, Z, have risk-taking success? Okay, I don't know. Why do I have risk-taking success? You tell me. Anyway, um, you can cleanse your chakras too, you need to. We have G, can't emotionally abuse you anymore. The mask is off. The time is right. Uh, these people are fallen angels. 11, you're an aged soul. We have W as well. There's a Leo who wants to know if they can come back in your energy. The curses and hexes are going back and he's mad as fuck. There's a karmic fam B. Return to Cinder. Yeah, please do. But they're stressed the fuck out because you're not playing games. You can't they can't divination spy on you and you're not divination spying on them. Uh, this is a fake friend. It's a fire sign whose head's always in the clouds. Uh, Gabrielle is here to give you this message. He set her up. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter who set who up. Quit lying. Um, they can't be patient anymore. Or you're becoming impatient, so you get your patience back. We have S. A. Not S. A. Uh, someone can't cry at all. They're not on their life path. We have A. This is a yes, man. You're protected from this person. You can take a break. The grass was not greener because it was not fake. You're on the right track. This is a third party situation. Uriel is here to give you strength. We have S, Divine Energy. There's a lot of S's coming out. Uh, this person has entity attachment. They're a Doodle Bob H. You have soul ties with someone with initial H. There are new contracts coming in with this person. So you're ghosting someone or someone tried to ghost you who gives a fuck. Metatron is here to give you change and insight. You have a stalker because they can't release you. Their soul star chakras misaligned. You have connection to your higher self. Their higher heart chakras misaligned too. They don't have a soul. They want to be you. They can't stay focused because they want to be you. Your chakras are too balanced. You're in the flow with life. You don't have any soul ties with corrupt people. They cannot attract anything. The 222 law of attraction is not on their side. A cycle is over. With a water sign who can't use bay leaves, it's in God's hands. Air sign. Think they think you're a know-it-all or air sign, someone thinks you're a know-it-all. They're jealous and envious about you because they don't have a fucking soul. You have a glow up. A uh, T. That's the T. Yeah, tell me. Let me tell you. That do be the T. Um Oh Lord. But yeah, we have We have Uriel to give you strength. Thank you, Uriel. We have Gabrielle to give you messages and to be your messenger. Thank you, Gabrielle. And then we have Metatron to give you change and insight. Thank you, Gab uh, Metatron, for changing things in our life and giving us insight about it. Someone is jealous because your name is written in, life, in the Book of Life. Um, meanwhile, they signed their book in the Book of the Beast, which is like their fault. Um, you shouldn't have done it. Right. But let's get your animal cards. I'm going to shuffle ten times. Okay. Take the bottom and split. Not many animals coming out today. Interesting. That's fine, yeah, but... So we have Al, which is observation. You are being encouraged to look beyond deceiving appearances into a true reality of a situation or a person's motives. You need to hear what's really being said despite the words and emotions coming from the messenger. Hippopotamus possesses exploration. If you become bored with your life, you have the creative power to stir things up and revitalize everything. You can do this by starting new projects, setting new goals, and making spiritual connections. Beaver, which is balance. You are being told that hard work is important, but so is quality time with loved ones. The balance between work, play, family, and career must be maintained for overall wholeness and success. Ant, which is perseverance. I've been seeing a fuck ton of ants today. Uh, this is a message of patience. Whatever you're going, whatever is going on right now, you cannot be so ambitious. By pacing yourself, the end result will be far more rewarding. Slow down. Don't rush. Work. Uh, 
carefully and learn to accept help from others. Last but not least, we have Snake. You will be shedding old skin and emotions and transforming them into something bigger and better. Change is in the wind and you are at the center of it all as the catalyst. To smoothen the process, make sure that your intentions are clear and that you are moving forward with hope. Angels, angels, what's going on? What's going on here, angels? Okay. I had a feeling you were going to come out. I said that was fun. The whole deck fell out of my hands, basically. <laughs> okay, well, let us... Wow, we have clear your vibes with Archangel Metatron. Thank you, Metatron, for clearing my energy field. Thank you, Metatron. We have Gabrielle, speak your truth. Thank you, Gabrielle, for helping us, helping me to speak with integrity. Major confirmations here. Balance, thank you angels for bringing balance into my life. Healthy choices, thank you angels for guiding me to make healthy decisions. Take a step back, thank you angels for helping me to step back from as what from what's not serving me. I don't know why my brain fucked up there. Oopsie. Time to breathe, thank you angels. I breathe with ease, knowing you're here. Yes, always. Unconditional love with the Divine Mother. Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I desire. Thank you, Divine Mother. New beginnings. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. Move your body. Thank you, angels, for motivating me to move my body and energy. Signs from heaven. Thank you, heaven, for giving me reminders of your presence. Always. Thank you, heaven. Love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. Uh, honor your feelings with Archangel Anael. Thank you, Anael, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. Live your joy. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. Um, spiritual abundance. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. The miracle of prayer, Archangel Sandolphin. Thank you, Sandolphin, for delivering my prayers to heaven. A leap of faith. I am ready to take a leap of faith. Thank you for doing it with me, angels. Peace and harmony with Archangel Raguel. Thank you, Raguel, for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. Open your heart with Archangel Shamuel. Thank you, Shamuel, for removing the barriers around my heart. We have loved one in heaven. Thank you, loved one in heaven, for drawing close at this time. Express your creativity. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. And last but not least, trust your vibes. Thank you, angels. Today I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. So yeah, I just heard you mastered something. So keep that in mind. You may have mastered something that you're unaware of, but you've mastered. So, congratulations on the early mastery. Um, I love all of you to the moon and back tenfold and forever, as always. Um, also, in the description of this video, hopefully, if not, I will add it there soon. There should be a Google Docs link um, for you to click on. And that will allow you to book readings, to book um, meditation music if you want one of those, or sigils. Um, it's something that just makes things easier, um, and I, I just, I like it. As, as I move on with this and add more things, I will add more things to the Google Docs, um, but for now, that's all I offer, um, but I will, I mean, it will get bigger as, as things move on, uh, but thank you all so much for everything. Um, I love each and every one of you to the moon and back tenfold and forever, and I will see you all later.